Hey everybody, we are playing. It's it's Zelda. We're doing okay. Zelda: A Link to the Past. Um, specifically, Steven is yeah, actually I'm playing, playing the game right time. now. So, um, <laughs> gee, uh, that was a test. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're playing some Zelda: Link to the Past, and um, what's your name gonna be? Fuck. Um. Fu oh, oops. Fuku. Oh. Hmm, let's see. Fuck. Uh. How many letters can I put? I guess only six. Yeah. Fuckers. 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 Ah <laughs> oh, shit. All right, fuckers is ready to <laughs> help me. Fuckers, you're my only hope. Help me, please help, help me. me. I'm, I'm a, a prince. You could, I guess you could do this one. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aghanim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. I fucking knew it before you even hit the button. Mm, it's probably because you played as G before. You didn't even read the thing! Uh, well, okay, well, basically, he's he's like, Oh, I'm gonna take on this shit and fight this fucker, or whatever. Um, <laughs> Man, we are off to a positive yeah, start. Yeah, right? Okay, I gotta get used to these controls, because it, uh, B is, like, the item... It's like, you know... Like, if I press... Oh, no, I... Oh, I don't have magic power. I'm like, why can't I use that? Right. So... Anyway, so... <laughs> apparently Zelda's a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. Yeah, and so then your uncle is like, is like, hey, I'm gonna fight this shit. Your uncle can't do shit, though, because he's a fucking fuckface, so... Um, no. I mean, I, I bless him for trying, but... Wow. Um, wow. Honestly, you'll see in, like, a moment... If I can... Okay, there we go. Okay, so Woo! B is to pick shit up. It, it's weird to get used to the controls. Yeah, see, I mean, he's yeah. Uh, ooh, fuckers! I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button, then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Fuckers, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your. That was you. Just switched voices a lot. I know I did. It's however late it is. Um. It's like two thirty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so okay, so I guess X is the is to use the magic, or, or you know use whatever item you have. But um, okay, so then okay, so that I, I I'm getting used to the controls. Okay. That's fair. Now. You you've played this game. This I, oh, I want yeah. I want people to know that this isn't like yeah I'm not like time. playing this yeah yeah he's just getting because we just played like for ooh wow you, we we played like forty minutes of fucking Prince of Persia so that may or may not have to be uh, re-recorded yeah so the recording kind of fucked up I'm gonna I'm gonna work on salvaging it but I'm tired of trying tonight. Um, I just kind of wanted to keep it going. But anyway, besides the Prince of Persia thing, um, we also recorded a lot of Soul Blazer tonight. So, um, that was fun. So, we, we've been doing a lot of games and, su and such. And so, we're starting episode one of this, and I'm already very tired. <laughs> so, this is going to be interesting. Well, we'll have to continue, because... I mean, I played Prince of Persia just before this, and unlike Prince of Persia, this is a great fucking game. This is a classic, and I loved playing this fucking game. Even, well, like, when I was a kid, honestly, um, when I say when I was a kid, like, a young kid, like, really young, and I would play the Super Nintendo, um, if I'm not mistaken, when we would play this, we would only play up until after this whole dungeon sequence with Zelda, and, like, you get to the sanctuary. Yeah, one, And then at that point, it's like, well, we're done. Yeah, like, we beat it. <laughs> like, yeah, we like, beat it. yeah, way to go for us. And, like, we didn't really ever 
go beyond that. But then when I was, I don't know, probably a, a, still a kid, but slightly older, um, you know, I actually attempted to, uh, you know, keep playing after this. And I actually played mostly on the, not the Super Nintendo version, but the uh, Game Boy Advance version, I think it was, or maybe, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it was definitely before the, uh... It's like Link to the Past DX or some shit. Yeah, yeah, like it, it, it kind of came, like, paired up with, um, uh, what was it, Link Four Swords or something? Ah, uh, um, sure. Yeah, but I think it was a little bit before the 3DS, so it wasn't the 3DS, it was the Game Boy Advance. And I remember I played the shit out of this game on that version, which, I mean, it's practically the same game, it's just that, like, in it, number one, it doesn't have, like, the whole, uh, you know, Four Swords shit with it, but, um... Uh, you know, they, they, there's, like, different, like, sound effects and stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah. Not really But, I mean, for, for the, I mean, like, the game itself was the same yeah. exact thing. I mean, like, for, like, a little context, I mean, we're, we're relatively young. I mean, I was born in 91, Steven was born in 92, so, like, you know, th this game came out, like, right when we were fucking born. So, it's not like, you know, we had the experience of waiting for this game to come out you know what i mean like for, yeah. for us that was like n64 because when we were really little kids like before school and stuff we had super nintendo but like we never really had any guidance playing it and there wasn't really much it like we didn't really have the internet and stuff like that so we just kind of like blindly played through games to a point where we were like satisfied with it and stuff and so, um, you know, this obvious, this no exception. So, like, you know, I remember when, uh, Super, uh, Super, uh, Super Mario 64 first came out and, like, the, the N64 itself. But, you know, I, w I, w I was born after or right around the Super Nintendo was first released, so. Thank you, fuckers. Thank you, fuckers. Fuckers, uh. listen carefully. <laughs> The wizard is magically controlling all all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Sure. No. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to open this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like when you have the, the name fuckas, you kind of say it like that, that like, you know, fuckas, like that, and then you kind of start doing a voice like that, but then, like, you're like, oh shit, it's not the voice that I'm, like, uh, I had attended It's to like do every before. character will have its own voice, but they all say fuckas the same way. Fuckas! Yeah. Fuckas. So, you know, and then when you, then that kind of trips you up a little bit. Have we um, mentioned that Nintendo, I mean, fuck, Super Thomas Bros isn't, uh family friendly <laughs> yeah right yeah i suppose not... butt fart is a slightly more well it's a, a, a more family friendly uh uh name oh fuck wow uh, um the the name butt fart that we've given our character in soul blazer is a little bit more family friendly than fuck is. Yeah. but at the same time i'm starting this file and it's like fucking 2 30 in the morning i don't give a shit anymore I also played 39 minutes or so of Prince of Persia that I don't know if we're going to be able to salvage, so, um, so, yeah. So we're both a little bit bitter right now, I think is what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. It, it is really frustrating to record that much, and then it's like, oh, cool, it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, it, that's the news I wanted right now. Oh, you weren't even fucking- you weren't even the one playing it. Well, no, it's true. I was laughing at you. Yeah. You're but gonna fucking die right now. Oh, ooh, got lucky there. Um, yeah. There we go. Yeah, as you can tell, it's been a while since I played this, but trust me, I'm- I'm good at it. I- I can play- I could beat this game probably without a strategy guy, but I can't- guarantee that in terms of like getting all of the heart pieces and stuff because even like you know a soul blazer you know there's times where you gotta like okay what the fuck am i doing here yeah it's true but um there oh you're 
you're, you're oh, there is, there is a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. To sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. Sure. Sure. I, I guess. Why not? Why wouldn't he? When we're, like, kids, too, by the way, when we play this, like, when there's all these dialogue parts, we usually are just, like, like tapping a, like, okay, okay, I, I, whatever. Oh, yeah. And so, like, with Link to the Past... That ornament... Oh, you fucking idiot. Yeah, see, there you go. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Okay. It's it's a secret passage. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe we're halfway through the whole game. I know. We're so <laughs> close to beating it. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh... You know, I wonder why we we just stopped at. I, I'm 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 thinking like at that point we just kind of like, like you said, we didn't really have the internet or anything back then, so it's not like we could really look this stuff up. Well, it's just because we were fucking stupid. Yeah, and we were kids. We were impatient. We're just like you know, yeah, we're we're not gonna try to solve all this shit. I mean, a game can't possibly be this long. Yeah. Keep in mind too, by the way, that the, you know, when Ocarina of Time came out, that was '98, right, or '99? Yeah, '98. Um, yeah. So when that came out, we kind of already had like that, like you know, motivation to kind of actually beat the game. Whereas with the Super Nintendo, it was already out by the time I, at least I was born. So, like, you know, when you're like five years old, as opposed to maybe eight or nine. You kind of, you're just like, you know, yeah, I'm just going to play this game, but I don't give a shit if I even beat it. I'm just going to, like, kind of play until I get to the sanctuary. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's kind of what, you know, at least I would do when I was a kid. Well, what we both did, I suppose. I mean, I'm, well, I'm... And that was sort of like with uh, Bart's Nightmare, too, you know? We would play that until we just died, and then it's like, alright, well, we're done for a while. Well, I mean, that's still how I play it, though. <laughs> yeah. That's no Nothing's changed with Bart's Nightmare. Yeah. That game is just... That game just, just fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It just sucks. <laughs> you know? You know, the, there's games you know that are game. okay. They just suck. You know. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Not like this game. This game's like a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, I think there are people that say this is... Oh. Uh, uh, after passing through these sewers, we will be very close to Sanctuary. To Let's sanctuary. be careful. I keep, keep wanting to say THE Sanctuary. Yeah, I would think so too, but... Uh. I guess not. Well, because it's fucking capitalized. Nice. Do you, yeah. have, do you have to kill all the rats, or are you just doing it? No, I'm just doing it, because uh, you might as well get some practice. There's, uh, you know, like, there's there's gonna be probably times later on in, like, future episodes when I'm playing this, and I'll be like, you know, I really wish that I could have gotten more rupees from fucking rats. If only I had 53 rupees right now. Because there's a part you have to buy the, uh, the Zora flippers, and I think they're 500 rupees, so... Fuck. Like, if you're not, like, constantly trying to get rupees, you're gonna be, like, looking out. Like, you're gonna have to, like, At go on a side point, like, quest well, fuck, almost. I guess I have to, like, farm rupees. Now. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of always a pain in the ass. Yeah. So you might as well just, try, like, you know, like, while I'm doing this, I might as well just try to get as many rupees as I can. The rats are easy to kill, not, like, ugh, well, I guess not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no rupees nope. there, but well, I got a key. That one you do, yeah. Yeah, uh, sometimes that, that, that happens too, you know, you gotta kill the, the rats, and then you get a key, whatever. Waste, waste some magic in a, in a torch you don't oh, need to Oh, thank get. god. For I don't have to light up. Oh, you gosh. know, I've never really come back here to put a bomb right there, but I don't, I'm not sure if you really can anyway. It's not like... I'm sure you can. Why would that be there? Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, it might just be like, you know, it gives you some more rupees. It's not like a necessary item later on or anything, so there's really no need. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. Right on. There's a lot more confusing versions of those kind of block pushing puzzles. Oh, sure. It's like in, um, uh, Ocarina of Time when you're in the back of Lon Lon Ranch and then you have to get that heart piece that's there where the cow is. Um, you have to push the blocks in like this weird way. Right? Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Over, oh, thanks. Over there, yeah. Which one is it? It's, I think it's on the right. I think if you do the one on the left, it's snakes. Oh, good. Yeah, right. You have to pull the lever to open the door. I know. Thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. Yeah. Sweet. 
fucking snakes. Yeah. Why'd it have to be snakes? <laughs> Why'd it have to be tourists? Uh, do you want to do that, old man? Yeah. Princess Elda, you are safe! It's, it's you doing, fuckers! Now... <laughs> yes, it was fuckers who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard... You gotta hit A before. Yeah, sorry. Said, <laughs> said once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Fuckers! You must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men... Fuck, really? It Skip the whole thing that time. Overwhelm this <laughs> land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it! You can. I sense that a my I don't really know who's Yeah, I don't talking. know who's talking, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magic power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he could tell you more. Maybe. Sure. I will mark his house on your map, but watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking... I, for some reason, I thought it was shoulders. Shoulders. Uh, for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the Elder. Do you understand? Sure. Um, I think from now on when we say fuckas, maybe we should say fuck ass, because that was honestly what I was trying to go for. Fuck ass. And we could only fit six characters, so... Oh, you could have done F-U-K-A-S-S. I could have, but it's too late. Yes, so I'm just gonna say fuck ass. Right. I'll try I'll try to keep that in mind. Sure. Um and you know what, we're we're probably towards the end of the episode and yeah. this is as far as we would go when we were very little. So which, which is sort of weird to think, you know. Well it'd be like, oh sweet, you know, we we just beat the game. Yeah, we got now it we back. Have all this land to walk around in as a prize. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, cool. Yeah. Woo. So anyway, I guess okay, so on the next episode of Super Thomas Bros. Uh, uh, we'll be going to the first dungeon. Um, Already. I don't know if... Um, God, fuck this guy. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the first dungeon within the like one episode, you know? So I guess we'll find out, though. Yeah. Ooh, I got the hiccups. We'll all find out. Oh, no. So, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to tune in next time to see that happen. I, I'm honestly not super familiar with this game. Like, I'm a lot more familiar with uh, Ocarina of Time and especially Majora's Mask. Oh, yeah. Um, which eventually we will do on the show, but not really anytime soon. But, um, yeah, again, thank you for watching, and uh, I'm going to be looking uh, forward to Steven's adventure here. Yeah. Are you even familiar with, like, points past this here? Like... Well, I mean, some stuff. I know you have to get the book to do the thing and get the boots. But <laughs> aside from that, I mean, not really too much. There's such little bits and pieces I know. Yeah. Wow. I know you're not supposed to let those fucking statues hit you. Yeah. Ooh, five arrows. Ooh, arrows! What am I supposed to do with those, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so. Next time. <laughs> Next time. Next time.